and I can just paste my website in. Now this isn't ideal, and you're going to see why, but it will work. I'm going to get the content area. I'm going to remove all that. So I put my cursor up here after the div begins, and I will look just before that div ends. Hold shift click, and that's highlighted everything in this div. So I can hit delete. So I now have an empty content area. Now, here's the nice little magic. I can just type open curly brace, capital, middle, close curly brace. And that's going to put the current page's content right here, right where I want it to be. So that's um, my website. So scroll on down and save it and cross your fingers. It's finished. Let me head back to my tab where I have the retreats zone up. And if I refresh it, ta-da. Okay, so we're sort of there. One thing that I clearly forgot to do was update my uh, image links. That's an easy thing to forget. And I also didn't take a whole lot of care with the footer yet. But as you can see, it's progress. Let's quickly fix these images. Um, head back to your templates. You can click back to pull them up. And um, here, here again are all my direct image links. Just like with the CSS, we have to update these. So get rid of the images slash and do an open curly brace dollar sign capital IMG comma and get rid of the dot PNG with a closed curly brace. Make sure that all of your images are like this. Otherwise, like we saw, they don't work. And I have one down here at the bottom as well. Okie dokie. Save that. It should look a lot more accurate this time around. Head back to the tab where I have it open, and I'm going to refresh. Lovely. Now my headers works. I have all the three images up at the top there. So, uh, you know, this is this is that page that I edited. It all runs with OC Portal. I can click to edit it, and, and the page will update. But this is not ideal. And for example... You can see that all my links over here on the left, look, look down at the status bar here. You can see that all these links just don't, don't go anywhere. They all point to the start page. I could click them and, and they don't, nothing works. And that's because back in my templates, let me go back to this tab, and this is our success screen. Let me click back. All the code that I built for these just has these little placeholder dummy pound symbols. And so if I was really committed to making this work, I could sure enough go into all these and create a temp code symbol that said dollar sign page link, escape it, and I could say retreat zone, this is the purpose page. If I did that for all of those and, and saved it, then it would in fact create this as a proper link. But it's a pain in the butt to come in here and edit these by hand in the templates. It's just not convenient, especially if you're planning on releasing this theme to the public. Um, so this is an option. I don't really recommend it. What we're going to do is do it a little bit more of a proper way. So I need to go back to the original um, global template that I had. I want to undo all these changes. So just come over here and you can scroll down to the bottom of the page. And we have a revision history at the bottom. So right here where it says, here's restore from admins edit, which was just now. So you can just click restore from and bam, it all comes right back. So here is the original global template again. Now this time, instead of just wiping the whole thing out and plunking our code in, we're going to take just a little bit of time and just look at what's happening here and see if we can put different parts of our code in a more logical place. So, you can ignore this top section. Okay, this is a little bit of logic that checks to see if it should show the top section. And if it is supposed to show the top section, then it codes in the top section. We don't need this logic for this page because there's, there's never going to be a time in this design where you don't want the header. That would just be stupid. So, I can safely 
delete all of the, the logic about the top, that's fine. And paste in my own. We're back in the uh, my code. This is my equivalent of the top section. It's just a div called top with some pictures in it. That's great. So I can not drag and drop. So I can just copy and paste that in there. So top section is done. Coming on down, this is if a message is supposed to render, such as, you know, this action has been completed at the top of the screen. This handles that. That's fine. We'll just leave it. Most users won't see it in this case. So come on down to, this is panel left. I'm seeing. And this is where we're going to do things a little bit differently. We have um, the original OC portal code that calls this panel left on the global side. We can get rid of that. Don't need it. What we do want is this um, get panel left. That is what's going to make it easier for people in the future to come back and edit the left panel. So this is important. This stays. This surrounding it will hide this section if it's not supposed to be there. That's fine. We'll just leave that in place. No sense in deleting it. So I just need to surround the left panel with whatever I surrounded my left panel with. So in this case, we've already done the top section. The next thing on the list is this wrapper div. Um, and this is not part of the left nav. This is part of the whole site, and I forgot it. So let's put it right above the left navigation. Actually, why don't we put it above this global message? So we've got the, the logo and then the wrapper, which is just like what I have here. Global message, and then for the left panel, we want this to be surrounded with two divs that I've called left wrapper and um, left. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put it above that. And then I'm going to look down past all of the navigation and the retreat. Here's where I end the left div and the um, left wrapper div. So. I'll take these, copy them, and uh, paste them in the most logical place, which is right after the navigation. So that's great. Next section is the right-hand panel. I don't have a right-hand panel, so that is safe to just delete. Uh, if I ever wanted a right-hand panel, you can you can always come back and and uh, and add it later. All right, here is the div that lets us know this is the global middle section. I, uh, in my code, I don't have a class called global middle, so I'm going to delete that div. And I'll have to remember to find the slash div. Oh, here it is. Get rid of that too. Okay. So what we're looking at here are, first we have breadcrumbs, which are wonderful um, for a lot of websites. So I'm going to leave that in here. And then a little farther down, we have open bracket middle, which uh, is, is where the page content goes. So... I'm ready to surround this section with my page content. So if I look back in my HTML, look at what happens next. I have a div called main wrapper and a div called main and a div called main content. And it just took three of those just because of the shadows and the way that I have my design working. So take whatever design you have and surround the content area, which is this whole section from the breadcrumbs down to the uh, middle, the content. And I'm going to paste. So there are my three little divs. And then after the end of the content, I need a slash div to close off the main content. So I'll copy it and paste it at the end. Now. If you are eagle-eyed, you'll notice that I just opened um, one, two, three divs, and I've only closed one of them. And actually, before I move on, this should go after um, global message. That, that has little messages at the bottom, so that's part of content. Uh, so is that. Okay. So if you're eagle-eyed, you'll notice that I opened three divs up there, and I've only closed off one of them. The reason for that is just because of my design. If we look at it, you can see that my footer is beside the navigation, and that's just a look that I liked.